Good day everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin, form stack layout in code behind. 2. Recognize the difference between designing UI in XAML versus in code behind. Now, let's open our Visual Studio and do some coding. I want you to open the previous project that we've made. The My Stack Layout. I want to keep this page. So what I'm gonna do is to add a new content page to the project. Go to Solution Explorer, right-click the shared code. Click Add, New Item. Select Content Page. Then name it Stack Layout in Code. And click Add. Delete the initial content of the XAML file. Then open the code behind of the page we just created. From here, we're going to code the UI of the page using C Sharp. What we are going to do is to design this page with user interface the same as the one we created using XAML. From our XAML file, we created a nested stack layout with three buttons on the outer layout and two buttons on the nested layout. First, we need to set the content of the page. And that is the stack layout. Then we set its properties, such as background color with a value of yellow. Horizontal options with a value of center. Vertical options with a value of center. Orientation with a value of horizontal. Padding with a value of 20, 30, 0, 10 pixel. Inside this stack layout, we are going to add children or sub-elements. We just directly type the word children, then an equal sign, and add open and close curly brackets. Inside these brackets, we're going to add the three buttons and one stack layout. So let's create a new instance of a button, then set the text property to button1. The same goes for buttons 2 and 3. Then, the last element, which is the stack layout. New stack layout with a background color of red. Remember that this stack layout have children of two buttons. That is button 4 and button 5. So inside this curly brackets, let's type in children, equal sign, then open and close curly brackets. Then we create a new instance of buttons.
that's it. The output of this code is the same as the UI created using XAML. You can see that creating our UI using code behind is a little bit verbose. So before we run the app, we need to set this page as the main page. Go to Solution Explorer. Under Shared Code, collapse the app.xaml file, then double-click the app.xaml.cs. Now change the value of the main page to stack layout in code. Then run the app. As you can see, the output is similar to the page we created using XAML. One of the disadvantage of designing your UI using code is that the hot reload is not working for code behind. Meaning, if you change something from code behind, it does not reflect the changes into your emulator. But there are instances that we really need to use C-sharp code in creating UI. Example of this, if you want to add elements at runtime. But for static layout, I recommend you to use XAML, it's fast and simple. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!